guys, my name is Jenny Jo. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Well, actually a lot of bit different. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to do a Dollar Tree haul. So I've been looking around on YouTube and I've seen Dollar Tree hauls and I'm like, wait a minute. I go to Dollar Tree all the time. Like, way too much. Way too much. Way too much. And um, so I figured I'd do a haul and um, I went pretty much every day last week and I have a confession I actually already recorded this haul once I already recorded this haul once I went to edit it last night to put it up I wanted to put it up last night and it was bad I don't know what happened but it recorded but then my voice was like 10 times ahead on some things and Things were just stuck and it was just real it was just so terrible I had to delete it like I couldn't use any of the footage so here I am doing it again <laughs> and um, the thing about it is is I've already put some of this stuff away and open it like right after the haul I was like oh I know what I'm gonna do with this you'll see what I mean with the some of the things so um I tried to dig out as much as I can some I already painted what I was gonna paint I told you guys in the last haul but that's what we're gonna do so anyway this is stuff from all last week me shopping all last week my husband can't stand it he says I have an addiction and he's probably right but I love Dollar Tree you get stuff for a low price I mean you can't beat it I do crafts and things like that so I love Dollar Tree home decor stuff to do crafts I mean it's a nice way to make your house look nice without spending a lot of money so I love it I absolutely love the Dollar Tree so we're going to try say, do this haul and see if you guys like it. Um, there's at least 200, 250 at least dollars worth of stuff here. It's ridiculous. But if you think about it, it's really not that much. $250, I could have spent that on one thing somewhere else to where I have 250 items. It's, it's probably a little bit more than 250 items, but we're going to go with 250 plus because I don't know exactly. I'd have to get out all my receipts and I'd have to count everything and I'm not doing all that. So this will be three parts. I believe this should, this will be three parts by the way the last one went. Um, so anyway, let's get started into this haul. So I'm going to grab this right in front of me here and it's meshed. They finally, I I've never found like the seasonal, well, I've only ever found the seasonal mesh. I've never actually found like the mesh that Dollar Tree just has. And you can tell the difference because of the wreaths on here. So like this is like the regular mesh that you they have. So I bought one, two, two in that teal color, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five purple and two green. And I have already put these away. So, And then I also bought Chanel to do my wreaths. I got four packs of those. Four packs of those to do my wreaths. And then, since I just have this right here, I'll just show this. And then I bought the 4th of July mesh. So, all this. So I got the ones like this. This is the one that I wanted, and when I went, I always find the seasonal mesh. I always find the seasonal mesh, but I never find this mesh. And you can see, like, right here how this is, like, fourth. You can tell it's, like, 4th of July Memorial Day mesh, and this is just, like, regular mesh because it doesn't have, like, it all has, like, the purple, I guess, or blue on it or something with flowers. Where this, the deck, like, let me see. I think I have, like, yeah, I have an Easter one here, and it has the Easter bunny on it. So, and you can tell. The difference between like the seasonal mesh and like the mesh that the Dollar Tree has. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these kind. This is what the ones that I wanted I could only find four. So I was like, man, I'm never gonna be able to get the rest of these. I didn't think I'd be able to find them, but I did. So I bought these to like go in with it. So I got four white. And then I got four, four blue, and see these three are from like the regular, their regular mesh, which is the same color as the Fourth of July mesh. So 
it didn't really matter, but. <laughs> and then I got three just red. That later. So that's all my mesh. I got were these fairy lights. I was so excited to find the fairy lights. And I got them all in silver and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the fairy lights. I love these. You can use these in any craft. You can use these for anything. They are awesome. And then I found these, which I've never seen these before. I could not believe I ran into these. They're little dragonfly, LED dragonfly lights. They are so cute. And I want to, I'm making like a summer wreath and a spring wreath. So spring I'm getting out of it, but I'll have it for next year. But I wanted, I thought that these were so cute. I got three of those and then I found the flowers too. So I got three of the flowers also. And then for my 4th of July Memorial Day wreath, I found the stars. And I bought a bunch of these ones just for the fact that I bought all of that like 4th of July mesh because I could, didn't think I would find the other one. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight of the stars. So I'm pretty excited to start my doing my wreaths. Okay, next thing I'm going to show are these cube organizers. Now, I bought, I got a, a new cube organizer because I'm going to turn this into my craft. It's going to be like my craft spare bedroom. But anyway, I got a little six cube organizer. So I bought six of these little ones because it's like the shorter shelves. And I already opened them all up to put them in there. <laughs> and these ones are the 11 by 11 by 8 ones and it fits perfect in my little six cube organizer it's like the shorter ones you'll see what I mean in a minute because I also got another one with like longer shelves and then it has the two bigger cubes so I got the bigger one for that this is the size difference in comparison and this fit into my bigger cube organizer and that one is the 10.5 inch by 11 by 10.5 is the bigger bag. So, and those work perfect in them. And then I seen these little organizer things. And I thought that this was gonna be a lot bigger because this is what is in the package. And they say this is 9.75 inch by six inch by six inch. You see that, that was a little glare. So this is how it comes in the package and when you open it up, there's like this little like zipper bottom instead of having like the cardboard, like in these ones, it has like the cardboard that you place in the bottom to keep them upright. But this one has the zipper. <laughs> so I just thought it would be cool to put, cause like the other one I said it has two of the ones that the bigger one fits in and then like the longer shelves. So I bought two of these to go in the longer shelves. And then I got these, I thought these were so cute and that they would go into there. So what I did with the long shelves, I put two of these on each side of this. So I got four of these and two of these. So it worked out great. I like it. I mean, those are a little small. I thought they were going to be a lot bigger than they are, but they're not, so I'll deal with it. So the next thing I want to show you was I got these Skeeter beaters. I got one in pink and one in blue. I got the blue one around here somewhere, but I already started melting the pink one, and I love it. It works really well. I really, I haven't had bit by a mosquito since I used that, since I started. Blah. Since I lit it on my patio, it's been awesome. So the next thing I wanted to show you were these love signs. I got one, two, three, four, and I think there should be another one. But like I said, I already started painting these <laughs> because I did my haul already and I immediately started painting these. So I got four of the love signs. I got two hello that I also painted. They come in black, silver, and um, gold all of them and I got one two three four dream and I think I have a couple more somewhere 
and I couldn't find when I spray painted the other ones, but I just, they're so heavy and so nice, and the paint job that's on them to begin with is not very good. You would have been able to see it better on the ones that, like this one. See, they weren't too good anyway, and I didn't really mind it because I knew I was going to paint them, and I just think they look so cute painted. They, I need to fix it up a little bit, but... I think they look so cute in these pink colors. So if you see them and you're not so crazy about them because they're all dingy kind of looking, just take them home, spray paint them if you like them. I mean, that's what I plan on doing. So I tried to pick out like the crappiest ones because I knew I was going to spray paint mine. So I figured I'd leave the nice ones for somebody else who didn't want to spray paint them. And then I also got these scissors. These scissors are bomb. These were with the Mother's Day gift stuff, and they have, like, little flowers on them. And they had, like, two other designs. I know one was, like, pinstripes, and I, I think the other one was polka dots. Don't count me on that. I think that's what it was. But these are really nice scissors. And then I got the, um, I think they called these the sneering or, or um, puning, puning, <laughs> pruning shears. And these were great. I really like these scissors. I already tried them out. And then I just put all this stuff in there so I had it. But And then I got this pink container. And this is going to go in here in my craft room. I'm going to use this to organize stuff. And I got a bunch of those all over the place. So I'll show those in a minute. And then I also got this 4th of July. It's like white burlap. They had the regular brown burlap too. But I like the white burlap. So I got the white. All right. Next, I'll show these containers right here. I'm so glad that they got these acrylic containers back. Oh, I love these containers. I use these in my um, beauty room. I have a little beauty room that I made, and I made like a Sterilite container, the drawer Sterilite containers, and I put a piece of wood on top, and actually, I'll just do this first since I'm telling a story. I got these drawers last summer, acrylic drawers, and uh, I put them together, and I make like a little... I make a little vanity, like a drawer vanity for my makeup. And I set, I make this and I put it on top of um, the wood Sterilite container, which holds it all in there. And I absolutely love it. So I got, I think there should be like 22 of the drawers somewhere all together. I have this container too <laughs> of them. And then I also bought like these little, it says they're for nail stuff, but I'd use lipsticks, foundations, anything I actually use with the other ones. I got one that looks like this and then the littler one like this and I got two of each of those because I make it's like a real big stand and then I got two of these containers which I'm going to use in like my bathroom or my pantry or something like that so we'll see where they go I also got those but I was so excited to see those and I hope that didn't just break on me lived but I was so excited to see those. I love these clear organizing containers. And then we'll keep moving on with these ones. Then I got these two organizer ones. It has the three compartments with the lid. So that's pretty nice. And then I got a bunch of these ones. I love these ones. I use these in my drawer, my Sterilite container drawers, to like separate my makeup in. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15 of these and I'll use these like around the house. I'll use them in the sink or under the sink, not in the sink, but I'll use them under the sink. I might, I was going to thought I was going to use them in my pantry, but I'm probably not since I bought all these containers. I also got these white like locker containers, which are really nice. I really like these locker containers. And then I got three more of them baskets that I had my, um, my acrylic drawers in. So, and I want to use these in my pantry. Now, I want to do all white in my pantry, but it's really hard to find just white in these all these containers. Like, especially those really cute new containers they have out. I'll show you right now. And um, so I'm painting my kitchen like a, a sea foam teal kind of greenish blue color. So I bought these to go with it in my pantry. I'm going to use these in my pantry, I think. So I got two of these kind. I, I also got it in the locker style in this color. And then I got these little cute, three of these little cute little baskets. And I got one, two, three, four in the locker green style. 
And then I also got like these like, it's kind of like, it's like a serving tray type of one. And I just thought these would be good to put cans or something in so you could see everything or your spices. And I got two of those. And I just thought these styles were so cute. And yeah, I couldn't find them in the white. So I was like, I'm going to have to pick another color to go with the white in my pantry to finish up my organizer. So I decided on that color. And then I also got three of these little white ones. I also use these in my drawers in the kitchen or I use them in my makeup room for the drawers. These three containers, oh, these are so nice. They're the lock um, snap lids. And I love these. You usually only get these in two and now they have the bonus of three. So if you like these containers, go now and get these because they're almost all gone. I had to get a bunch of different <laughs> They have blue, red, and green in the three bonus pack. So I love them for screws, anything like that, nails. And then I also got two of these um, teaspoon things, but there's actually a reason I got these, but I can't already I'll show that now. So it makes sense, but I got these and I only got them for one of them because I already got a set of these for my kitchen to use to measure stuff out. But I found these cute little jars. Look how cute these glass jars are. And I like them because you could set them like this or you can set them upright. And I thought these would be perfect for coffee, sugar, anything like that. So I went ahead and got three of these and I figured I could use these to scoop the stuff out. And it would match like my decor, I guess, the colors that I'm going with. So I got three more of these color, green colored baskets. These are like, I don't know what you would call these. Like, I guess they're just like... They kind of remind me of like water baskets or something. And then I got in this style of green. And I think I have another one of these, but I have stuff in it. <laughs> and then I got two of these white big round containers. And then I got one of these like little basket ones. And then like a bigger round basket. Green. I really like these baskets. I love Dollar Tree's organization. I mean, it's... Oh, it's awesome and it's cheap and you can't go wrong like you seriously can't go wrong with the Dollar Tree organization I'm telling you and then back to clears I got these three compartment organizers and I love these I put bobby pins and um, my clips I put my ponytail holders I love these I love them love them love them and I have them in my makeup stand and I have one Seven of these. These would work in an office or anything. And then I also got the, the bonus of the lint rollers. You get a big one and a little one, which I thought was a great deal for a dollar since you normally only get the one. All right. So I'm really excited about these. These little trinket ring holders. They're so cute. I got a flower. Or the flower. Woo! A feather and an elephant. And then I my husband really liked the Buddha. So I got him the gold Buddha. And then I also got two more organizer tray, trays, containers, and I also got these two cans, organizers for the fridge. I, we drink a pop in this house, a lot of pop, not going to lie. Pepsi, here all day, my husband, Dr. Pepper, all day. So I thought these would be nice to like try and keep the fridge like not so cluttered with pop cans and the big things that they come in. And then I also found this little like trinket box and I haven't seen anyone haul these. I have never seen these at another Dollar Tree. I found this hidden in one Dollar Tree and I mean it was hidden. I barely seen the top and I was like what is that and I dug for it and I found this little like trinket box and I've never seen it. I don't know where it came from. If anybody has seen this leave me a comment and let me know. Because I was like so confused. And this is exactly how it was. It was half open at the top just like this. This is how it was sitting there. And I was like that is so cute. And I have to get it. So I got it. I don't know if like somebody bought it. These were like a long time ago. And somebody bought it. And it's like nicked right here. And they brought it back. Or I have no idea. But I have not seen these. And I would like to find more of these. But I don't know where it came from. But I found I claim it as a hidden gem and I love it so I got it what can I say I love hidden gems all right so this next up is um organization for my craft room I'm gonna do it in pink 
because it's the only room in the house that I'm going to be allowed to do in pink. <laughs> I found these two cute little baskets I thought were so cute and I could put like anything into my craft room. And then these, I love these style containers. I thought they were cute, so I got three of those. And then these are like the shorter, like square locker containers, composed to like these white ones right here. There's like a big difference. That's not working, but you can see the size difference. And I thought they were cute and little for my craft room, so I got two of those. Oh, and here's the rest of my drawers right here. So I'm pretty sure there's 22 all together. There's, I'm pretty sure there's 22 all together. But I think that's going to conclude it. That was part one of this haul. And I'm going to put, there's going to be three parts of this haul. So come back for part two if you like part one. And um, if you guys like this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you guys like this Dollar Tree haul video from me and like I said I go to Dollar Tree all the time so I could do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls for you guys like I said earlier I do crafts I do Reese if you guys want to see some Dollar Tree crafts or some Dollar Tree Reese or something like that how I do my Reese and everything I could do videos like that I could do come with me to Dollar Trees I could do all this stuff if you guys want to see it um I want to know what you guys want to see I don't want to put all this these videos up if you guys don't want to see it I want to do what you guys want to see I'm here to entertain you so just let me know what you guys want to see give me a thumbs up and come back for part two of my haul and I'll see you guys later mm -hmm. bye